Have you ever felt like you're addicted to dairy? Well, in this video, I want to explain to you really quick how dairy works and how a certain kind of protein within dairy might actually be making you reach for the fridge and grab that gallon of milk even when you don't really think about it. You see, the protein in milk is called casein protein. A lot of us don't think about it because we're always hearing about whey protein. Whey is sort of the more popular brother when it comes to the protein within milk, so casein just kind of gets shunned away. Well, the thing is, casein is an important protein, but it also comes with some very scary little skeletons in its closet, and I want to dive into them in this video. You see, casein protein has two different types. There is A1 and A2. Now, A2 is the original casein protein that was in cows years and years and years ago. Now, A1 is the more modern version of casein protein. That came from cows that started kind of going through a genetic mutation about five to 10,000 years ago. So that A1 version of casein protein is a more modern version. Now, within that casein protein is something called BCM7. And what BCM7 is, is an opioid peptide. What that means is it acts on opioid receptors within the nervous system, within the endocrine system, and within the immune system. Now, opioid receptors are the same receptors that receive the response from opiates like heroin and morphine, Oxycontin, things like that. So you can see how dairy can actually establish an addictive property by triggering those same opioid receptors. But that's not really the bad thing. That just explains why dairy can be addictive. You see, BCM7 is now being linked to so many other things. It's being linked to a destruction of the digestive system, basically killing off a lot of the gut flora. It's also being linked directly to gastrointestinal inflammation, which can lead to a leaky gut, and that leaky gut can lead to malabsorption of nutrients, which can slow down your metabolism and a world of other issues. But most commonly, it just causes that plain digestive discomfort. A lot of times that bloating, that gas, diarrhea, constipation, all that stuff that you get from dairy, a lot of times it isn't from the lactose, but it's from the casein. It's from the body's crazy response to that BCM7. Now, I'm not saying that dairy is bad. You, know, you want to control it. You want to eat it in moderation. You just want to be aware of that. But a lot of times people are consuming rampant amounts of dairy and consuming this BCM7 and this casein protein, which can cause a world of problems. In fact, according to the World Journal of Men's Health, in a pretty new 2014 study, it was found that the consumption of casein protein had a profound effect on the proliferation of prostate cancer cells in men. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, so I can't completely jump to conclusions, but that is a pretty scary bout of research right there that's showing a direct correlation between casein protein and cancer. So what can you do? I wanna give you a solution really quick because you've listened through this video. One of the best things that you can do if you absolutely need to get your dairy protein in is choose a whey protein isolate. The whey protein isolate has gone through a filtering system. That filtering system has basically removed all other components of the dairy, leaving just the whey protein isolated. That's why it's called whey protein isolate. So you're getting none of the other stuff. You're not getting the casein, you're not getting the concentrate, you're not getting the other milk solids. You're just getting the whey protein isolate all the benefit of the protein in the dairy without the negative effects of BCM7 and the casein protein. As always, keep it locked in here on my videos for more health hacks and how you can shortcut your way to feeling the best possible. I'll see you soon.